All right. Howdy, y'all. How are you guys doing? So it is the day of the full moon in Scorpio. So I want to do a quick video on what this even means. What is the full moon in Scorpio? What you could be doing to utilize this full moon in Scorpio? Or you could even just take this information and just utilize it for other full moons or any other part of the moon cycle, right? That is my hope for this video. So first of all, let's just talk about what the full moon in itself represents before we even add a zodiac assigned to it. So the full moon is generally accepted as, or at least this is how I learned it as, is where it's almost, it's like the, uh, it's like the harvest time point, pivotal point of whatever it is that you're trying to manifest. It's essentially just where the energies are at its most potent for people to utilize it for whatever it is that they want, right? So for my manifestors, right, putting out the intent that they want to uh, bring in love into their life and stuff like that. This is generally the time that you want to watch your mindset the most because I, I mean, I believe that thoughts are energy, right? So for, we're constantly putting out energy. So during the, these pivotal high energy times, like the full moon, that's where your thoughts have more potency at this time, essentially, right? And so then we take that full moon of where it's just like extreme potency and things coming to light, right? Because the full moon is illuminating things that were in the shadow. And so when you have that full moon revealing things, illuminating things, well, that's, this is where we attach the zodiac sign right what is this uh powerful pivotal point uh happening for the full moon we have this scorpio coming in now scorpio for this this generally means like scorpios are very sense of um deep deep like intense emotions and so during this time it's a lot of things are going to be revealed that are just like deeply rooted for some of you guys it could be a situation of i want you guys to view this time as a sense of just trying to release things things that have just been deeply just like part of you that you just want to just break the cycle of right or begin the cycle of is something new right and so this is where we can start utilizing these energies and there's some tools here that I actually want to show you guys um, that some of you may have especially I even have some tarot cards that you can even include for your own ritual work as well right and so we'll get into some stuff right now i'm gonna firstly talk about you know maybe some of you guys have an issue with speaking up and speaking for yourself i know some of the people that receive my tarot readings some of y'all zodiac signs do have this issue of where you have issues speaking up for yourself speaking your truth uh have standing up for yourself right having confidence in what it is that you're even saying right because maybe you have some insecurities and in whatever whatever your reason is whatever your prerogative your story is right you can start working during this time start working with a blue stone right this is lapis lapis is my favorite stone ever it's what my channel banner is is my name uh channel name in lapis right you can really connect with lapis during this time uh, because lapis is really good for your throat chakra and really uh, not only assists you in speaking up for yourself speaking your truth but it also really helps with uh uh, spiritual communication as well for those for my people that like to work with certain deities um right uh, if you maybe for some of you guys you're trying to release the uh issues of a heartbreak right a past relationship or just like your relationship just with love and emotions in itself right maybe you guys have an issue of vulnerability this is where you can start working with rose quartz during this time start uh meditating and connecting with the energy of rose quartz um because with rose quartz this will will work on uh your i see this as working on like your heart chakra in the sense of introducing you to a very soft uh loving energy so maybe work with rose quartz during this time if you're trying to mend a broken heart of yours right or just any type of emotional issue trying to find more love into a situation and, and releasing critical views that you might have of them uh, maybe for some of you guys you want to work on your issues and your relationship with money for my manifestors trying to uh, bring wealth into their life trying to open up revenue streams maybe this is the time that you want to work with some citrine y'all uh, citrine is a stone that you don't even have to cleanse it's self-cleansing or it's used to be self-cleansing uh, this is an extremely high vibrational stone it is known as i don't 
someone can let me know in the comments below I, there's like a nickname for the stone um but essentially it's just really good for i can go citrine is one of my other favorite stones but it doesn't seem like it since i can't really talk about it in detail right now in this moment but um yeah it's also i just want to note there's a difference between citrine and heat seed uh heat treated amethyst right uh they look very different you can tell when something's heat treated amethyst but yeah you have some issues with money and you want to like uh, break those old uh, cycles that you have, those old, um, those old relationships that you have with uh, money. Connect with Citrine during this time, right? And then now we can get into some tarot cards, right? If you guys uh, have a tarot deck handy with you guys, um, for some of you guys, if you're trying to bring some karmic balance into your life, right? We can bring in to start working with the Justice card into your incorporating the Justice card in your meditations to bring in some balance into your life is something that you feel like is um, out of place in your life, right? This is more so a situation for people who it's like uh, trying to rush things along, right? If you feel like you've been wronged in a situation or you feel as if like you're tired of waiting for something like for um, for your harvest to be coming, work with, uh, start connecting with a justice card. If you're trying to work through some pain, again, 10 of swords, trying to help give yourself closure in a situation, work with the Ten of Swords at this time, because again, full moon in Scorpio, it's a really good time to be releasing that negative energy. Again, maybe if you're trying to work on like your situation with being vulnerable or um, your relationship that you just have with people, right? Page of Cups, because Page of Cups is a beautiful card to not only uh, open yourself up and work on uh, deepening the connections that you have with current people in your life, but as well, the Page of Cups welcomes in new love into your life, in love, whether it's in a romantic sense or a platonic sense, because you can love a friend, right? A close friend. If you want to try to work on some shadow works issues, some deep rooted traumas, the strength card, honey, right? This is always, I always say is my shadow, the strength card is my shadow work card, right? So you're trying to just have like a clean slate, honey, the tower card, right? So trying to move on from something, again, six of swords, right? The options are lim limitless, right? Something I want to just point out, at least something that I believe in, at least, uh, when you look at these rituals, right? People have like all these complex rituals with all these tools and all of this, right? That's fine and dandy, right? But there, look at each tool, each ingredient, if you will, that they're using and see what value it adds to the ritual itself, right? And that's essentially all that you're doing with any of it, right? If you have this giant complex ritual and it tells you to do, like do something in the North Star or whatever, look it up as to be like if there's even any type of significance or any meaning into it, right? And so all you're really doing in a ritual is stacking intent off of things and so if it's like holding a blue stone that you associate with opening up and working on your throat chakra will help setting that intent that's you know it's essentially all that you need to be doing it's just this essence of layering it doesn't need to be fancy it doesn't need to be like instagram or tiktok perfect aesthetically pleasing right it's all about intent intent um, you could easily just be sitting with these energies with these stones right during this time burning some incense really good incenses to have at this time uh lavender is a really good one if you're uh, looking to work on your intimacy issues um palo santo is really good if you're trying to cleanse out some, like when you're releasing those uh dark en or heavy energies rather um cleansing the room with some palo santo or with some clary sage clary sage um sandalwood is a good one right dragon's blood's a really good one to enhance your ritual work if you're trying to just enhance like what it is that you're doing right just for simplicity's sake if you're not trying to uh look into the meanings and what each incense represents right you just a safe bet in my opinion at least is dragon's blood because it's just always going to enhance it's viewed as enhancing anything that you're doing. So it's just viewing it as like any intent that you already had set up, just Dragon's Blood is just going to be a nice like boost to it, right? So I hope this video helps in some cases. Maybe I should do a video, separate video on like a little bit of a ritual, but um, I don't even know if that's even something most someone would even want, right? 
Uh, but if you guys have any questions, let me know. And maybe this, I can either help in the comments or uh, definitely this. I'm sure I hope I have some people in, uh, that follow me that are much more into astrology than I am. I can guarantee you there's somebody that is much more educated than I am that can maybe even give a little bit more detail and some clarity, right? Let's just, let's share some information, right? I don't believe any of us are doing anything wrong. It's just a matter of what works for an individual, right? So what I use, don't feel limited to, right? This is just what I do, right? This is how I view things, right? It's just setting intent in that way. Some people enjoy the complexities of things. For me, I mean, I've been doing this for too many years at this point, y'all. I don't really care about having it to be flashy and fancy and aesthetically pleasing and all that. As long as it gets the job done for me in my head, honey, I'm good, darling. So uh, let me know what it is that you're going to be working on during this full moon, if you feel like sharing it, right? I know some people are... Um, a little bit skeptical on uh, talking about what it is that they want to work on because they're worried about other people influencing it. Me personally, I don't really care because I don't really feel like, I feel like I'm the one giving power to people more so than anything else. If I have that fear, I don't think like, <laughs> girl, please, right? So for me personally, I'm going to be working with Lapis. Uh, heavily this uh, full moon is because I want to work on being able to be more comfortable uh, speaking my truth. I want to be able to be more comfortable just speaking in general, um, feeling just more confident in the words that I speak and hopefully at some point be able to speak in a much more uh, coherent manner, right? Um, and probably where, you know, throughout the day I'll do some other things, but that's like the main focus thing that I have right now. So. Yeah, I love you guys so much. And if you haven't heard it today, I see you, I hear you, and I love you so much.